Moving on, the International Human Rights Commission has called on Nigerians to report cases of human rights violations across the country to East Nigeria's central office. The commission, in a statement while disclosing that it has launched a mechanism to checkmate the activities of fraudsters in the country, says it is also committed to peace, abolition of rape and gender-based violence, and the restoration of human dignity. The head of the commission's Nigerian office, Dr. Friday Sani, says the Global Human Rights Agency will do all it can to abolish all forms of violence being witnessed in the country and ensure justice for all. Joining us live is Dr. Friday Sani himself, the country head, International Human Rights Commission. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Thanks for joining us on News on the Hour. Now, we hear that the International Human Rights Commission is calling on Nigerians to submit cases of human rights abuse to its country office. Can we know why this is important at this time? Well, there is no time that will be more important than now. It is a time where you and I know that if there is anything that desire to be attended to now is the right of everyone under the globe. The right of individuals have come under serious threats all over the globe. So there is no project that will be more, that deserve more emergency than the right of every human being under the globe. Mm. Therefore, it becomes too imperative for this office to begin to call for it and ensure that it, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by the United Nations in 1948 is not just a mere pronouncement, mm. but instead an enforcement, a way where we can ensure that it is uphold by all asunder, all human beings under the globe. That is exactly what we are doing at the moment. Mm -hmm. Your, your commission also said it, it will do all it can to bring an end to all of these abuse and violations. As you do know, and as you have established there, there has been so many rights abuses. Now, how does the International Human Rights Commission intend to bring this to an end? Well, you see, uh, it is true that uh, a lot of us will begin to raise some questions about how will the intent, how will the International Human Rights Commission intend to achieve this, owing to the fact that we have a municipal law that has been messed up by stakeholders. But I want to tell you that International Human Rights Commission is a network of human rights organizations in the whole world. In addition to this, we have a, a secretary general who currently serves as the world chairman, who is not just a man championing the cause for humanity, but a man that has the ears of the international criminal courts. And because our organization is not guided by municipal law alone, it becomes easy, easier for us to report cases of violation of human rights to the international criminal court if it's so, it's so desired. This is exactly why we are confident that we can play a serious role of addressing and ensuring that human rights of any man is not violated. And those who violate the rights of a human being must be brought to order, not brought to book as it is being done in Nigeria. But the man must be called to order by appropriate authorities in the world. You know, I and I, I and you know that in Nigeria, so many VIPs and stakeholders depend on the international community to be able to operate. So many of them go there to take their treatment. So many of them have their assets and resources all invested there. So if we cannot get hold of you here, by the reason of the ridiculous um, municipal law we have, we can as well get you outside the shores of this country. And that is why we are confident that we can address and go into issues of violations and those who commit them will definitely not be let to go free. Mm -hmm. Dr. Sani, before we let you go, how will your commission uh, uh, rate Nigeria's human rights compliance, especially when it has to do with compliance to international conventions? Well, you think, you see, we, as a matter of fact, we are organization that does not encourage protests. 
We are an organization that don't, does not sponsor street protests and demonstrations. This is because of our international diplomatic powers. I mean, we have several procedure, diplomatic procedures to deal with the matter. Because of these powers, we do not engage in either sponsoring protests or encouraging demonstrations in streets. Even though they are all legal, it is legal for the citizens to protest. It is also legal for the citizen to engage in demonstration that is violent free. But as an organization who has a lot of diplomatic powers in terms of diplomatic ties with different countries in the world, we do not, we do not encourage street protests because we, what you can achieve from street protests can be achieved on the table without really going into demonstrations. And you know, demonstrations are always taken advantage by hoodlums most times. And because of this, we have been able to come up with an idea that can take us away completely from demonstration and protest. A situation where on the table, a particular human rights violation can be addressed. This is exactly the current mechanism that the world is exploiting. International Human Rights Commission today has become an alternative crisis resolution mechanism to both government and the people. This is the differences between our organization and any other organization in the world.